So guys, it is May, which means a brand new car pack for Forza Motorsport 6 is here, which includes seven cars for $7. And we're actually giving a code, a copy of the car pack away over on Twitter. So if you want to, if you want to know more about that, there's a link in the description down below. But anyways, today I wanted to jump into the car pack, review each car, and just talk about the car pack and give my thoughts on it. So let's do that today. Started off with the 2011 Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. This car is just crazy. There's a massive skull on the front, a huge flaming wing on the back if you choose to include it, and it's not actually that fast. The thing looks pretty cool and would probably, you'd, you'd probably look at it and go, that's a pretty quick car, it would make a cool drag car. It's not actually that fast because there's no engine swaps, which is kind of disappointing. You can only get it to around 500 or so horsepower, I believe. I tried to wheelie build it in yesterday's Twitch stream, and it didn't go well. It, 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 it didn't work. Anyways, the Bone Shaker is just cool. It's got a massive skull in the front, like I said. Awesome looking car. I love it. It's cool. I like silly cars like this. Nice work, Forza. Sticking with the Hot Wheels theme, let's go over to the 2005 Ford Hot Wheels Mustang, which is just crazy. To be honest, once again, it's got a crazy rear end and it's got some cool wheels, I guess you could say. The Mustang is just as crazy as the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker, but even a little bit crazier. You may have seen the video that I put up yesterday where we actually went and drifted the Mustang with a bunch of them online. Mine had a thousand horsepower and we did some tandems with it. It is just insane. Mine was way, way too fast, but it's an awesome car. It would make for an awesome drag car actually because you can put some crazy huge tires on it. It's fun. Check out the Mustang. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, let's move it on to the 2017 Ford Focus RS. If you guys were watching my videos last month, you may have seen a car pack video that I did called the perfect car pack for Forza Motorsport 6. This car was in that car pack. This was actually the car I decided to put as the cover car for the pack. It's just cool. It's an amazing little car. Sadly, it can't do the same donuts that Ford says it could. But it's a fun little car, especially when you toss some mods in it. You can do some pretty crazy stuff with this car. So get tuning, get building. This car is cool. Jim Kana it away. Have some fun with it. Fun little car. I always like a good hot hatchback, especially when it's bright blue, has all-wheel drive. That's sort of my go-to thing and with my R32 and my Subaru, so yeah, I, I like it. Let's move it on to something that is not so much fun, but just holy shit, crap your pants, crazy the McLaren P1 GTR. This is probably the coolest car in the entire pack, and for some reason, I just don't like driving it. The downforce this car produces is just insane. It has so much downforce, in fact, it just feels heavy. It has this massive front splitter, this massive rear wing, and huge amounts of horsepower. It just inspires confidence, and when you go around a corner, you can't actually go around as fast as you think you can. And because of that, I noticed myself going into corners way too fast, trying to break it the last minute and going around the corner way too fast and just running wide. The car just feels heavy in the game and to be honest, I don't really like driving it. It's an incredibly cool car, amazing car in real life, but it just feels heavy in the game. I don't know if I'm the only one who thinks that, but that's my opinion. With a bit of practice, I'm sure I could get adjusted to it and get some solid laps in but just jumping into it for the first time, it's a little too heavy. On the topic of batshit crazy, we have a 1990s Ferrari 641, which was Alain Prost's car. This is the new fastest car in Forza Motorsport 6 for going around a track. This is a two minute lap of Spa, which is just unheard of, that is insane. There is a video I have coming up soon between this and Senna's McLaren, and spoiler warning, the results are not even funny. This thing, just the brakes, the acceleration, the top speed, it has everything. Go around a corner, no need to brake if you decide to get a better line than I do. If you are, if you are slightly better at the game than I am, I would hope so. You can get this thing to just be, it's, it, I don't have words for it. It's just so fast, I genuinely cannot move my hands fast enough to downshift, turn the corner, brake, and accelerate out the corner fast enough. It's that fast. Let's move it on from this to a 2016 Chevy Camaro Supersport, which I don't actually know anything about. To my knowledge, it's just a facelifted Camaro with some new internals and maybe a new engine with some more power. I don't really know. Anyways, from my very limited knowledge of Camaros, in the game it feels pretty jelly, which is 
kind of weird, but it is fun to drive, has some amazing mods like the Ford Focus, and you can go pretty crazy with it and have some fun with it. Anyways, the final car for the pack is a 2015 BMW X5 X6 M, and it's the only, sort of air quotes, bad car in the pack, if you could say that. If you ask me personally, I just don't really like SUVs in the game. They're awesome cars, it's incredibly fast, you can see it pull on a Subaru, it, it's fast, but nobody really uses them. The X6M is awesome, but it's just, no one's gonna use it. Anyway, so my thoughts on the pack, this is the best car pack in a very, very long time. It has the perfect mix of almost everything. I say almost because it lacks some JDM. That's why I said I would replace the X6 with something JDM. I don't know what, but I don't know. S14, you know, just a car people have been asking for for some time, you know? Cool. But anyways, this car pack is pretty much the perfect mix of everything from silly cars like the Bone Shaker and the Crazy Mustang. It's got some muscle in that, in the Mustang as well, and the Camaro. It's got a bright blue hot hatch, which is always good for me when the Ford Focus. It's got some crazy race cars like the P1 and the Ferrari. And if an SUV is your thing, it's got the X6M. I love the way Forts is going with the recent car packs. It's nice to see some, some, some good cars finally coming in. I approve very, very much. I would definitely recommend picking this car pack up. Anyways, guys, these are my thoughts on the car pack. Let me know what you guys think of this car pack in the comments down below. I know some people have had some very mixed opinions on this car pack. I've seen some people just go, the only good car is the P1, which is, funnily enough, one of the cars I don't really like. So I guess it depends sort of who you are, depending on what you like and things like that. But for me personally, one of the best car packs in a very, very long time. Anyways, guys, we're giving that copy of the car pack away over on Twitter, so links in the description down below for that. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in another month with another review. Assuming they make another car pack or something. See you guys then.